gone. <laughs> With a little tuft of something that looks like it's come off a nylon carpet. You're lovely. Yes, you. A bit deathly. A bit dark. A little bit evil. Seems to be working for you. Are you keeping people on the toes? Are you using people who love you? That's lovely to hear. What is your name? Josh is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen, please. And he said to me, he would never use those that love you. It's nice that you've got this, because what we've all got to do from now on, you meet anybody in the street, at the bus stop, on the tube, somebody bangs into you, get hold of them and say, what is your morality, what are your principles, and what are your ethics? Because unless you tell me what they are, how do I know how to respond to you? I think there's been scat going on in the parallel universe. For a long time now, I've been grammatically incorrect. In as much as I've been saying I draw the line of we. I meant to say, I probably draw the line of who. Because by drawing the line of we, it's almost like I'm saying I'm not interested in we. And I am. Always got a thirst on me, ladies and gentlemen. I believe when it comes to alcoholic beverages, it's a little bit like rabbits. You have to digest it for the second time. <laughs> to get all the nutrients so that you can get your five a day. I am a spiritual psychic. I'm getting a message. <laughs> You've been to Greg's. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that if you'd have got a jam donut, that would have constituted one of your five a day? Five jam donuts, you've sorted. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my role in life is to tell you that there is no reality whatsoever. I'm sorry to have to be. Not so much the bearer of bad news, because in a way I'd like to think it's very liberating. <laughs> but when you wake up tomorrow, see through new eyes and think, actually I don't have to do anything that previously I've done. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody pressurises you into keep having this Groundhog Day existence, <laughs> kill them. <laughs> Those of us that are spiritual communists know that there is another level that we can go on to after the earth plane, ladies and fucking gentlemen, and total fucking silence now, please. <laughs> when there is energy, there is momentum, and that momentum never stops. Get your head round that. Learn. Don't be obedient now. Heaven isn't in the future. How? Here? In this room? Massive thank you to Dawn. I love Dawn. And Dawn and I, our relationship works because we give each other space. I'm never going to make that m mistake again, Dawn, where I feel that my happiness, my balance, my equilibrium relies on somebody else's response to me. I can't live like that any fucking other. <laughs> Dawn gives me space. She booked all the acts. She produced the whole fucking season. I'm up to my eyes in trouble. Thank you very much, Dawn. I sincerely fucking love you. I knew it was going to be emotional because what we're doing is different and it is special. It's not going to something.
some sort of clapped out gay bar where you're gonna see some twat reinforcing gender stereotypes. There are no men, there are no women. It's an illusion. Get over it. And if you want to live like that, it's only so that your mother can still relate to you. The best thing a gay man can do, even those that don't identify as gay, is kill your fucking mother, set yourself up. Before you do, slice her tits on. You're looking nice, you're beautiful. The way that you do it, the way that you do it, captured the light. You'd never know that it was catalogue. Okay, you're looking lovely. As I said, I'm going to do as much as I can for you, though. But Beverly Angel is my guardian. And thank you very much, Beverly. What you said resonated. Thank you so much. I know who my friends are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, before I fill the primed canvas behind me, which looks like a television, so have a good look because television, probably in the next six to 12 months, will be completely over. <laughs> so, it's a little bit like the Antiques Roadshow. <laughs> Look at it, admire it. I don't think you're going to get too grand for it. <laughs> okay, because everything's going to be on the internet. What's going to happen is that the school children, so that they pay for their own education. <laughs> there will be state provided and state promoted <coughs> child pornography. <laughs> they will ask the child, would you like to be educated? And if the child says yes, would you be prepared to pose in a well, compromising position? <laughs> Do you want to be educated from the age of five to, say, 10 or 11? In which case, just show your bits and perhaps prize open your cheeks. If you wish to be educated beyond the age of 10 or 11, then you have to be a little bit prettier. <laughs> Similarly, the elderly in the rest homes must lie in their beds naked and any of us can just walk in, shag them, <laughs> give the carers, whatever you've got, loose change. And this is the big society they <laughs> The poor are not doing enough. And it's very greedy that working people are doing jobs and asking to be paid. People like Pam should take the work off what remains of the working classes, because most of us are underclass these days. <laughs> People like Pam take over from the working classes and the underclasses and do it for free. And kid themselves that they're helping society. Capitalism's over, ladies and gentlemen, and it happened tonight. Thank you so much.